Yo, what's up, y'all? It's your boy, Black Boy from AZ, otherwise known as Brant. And I'm making this video for all my folks that are in college or maybe just now starting college. You know what I'm saying? And for all my guys and all my peeps that are starting. And, you know, a big thing with college, bro, and university is partying, bro, and going out every night, getting drunk, smoking, drinking, all of that fun stuff. You know what I'm saying? And... I just want to come on here as an unk. Now, listen, I'm only 21 years old, but I learned a lot, bro, through my first year of, like, college. And I didn't go to a university, actually. I went to a community college. But I had friends who went to the university, uh, Arizona State, which is known for a party school. So, you know, in high school, you hear a lot like, bro, college parties going to be insane, bro. Like, I can't wait for these college parties, bro. I can't wait to go to these shits, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's going to be lit, bro. All types of stuff like that. Pretty much everybody's excited for these college parties and to go get drunk. You know, some dudes are going to get girls and shit like that, bro. All of that stuff, bro. And I'm going to tell you here, I'm not going to be one of those dudes to tell you to not go. Like, you know, obviously I feel like every guy should experience a little bit of it. You know what I'm saying? Like, at least a few times. But what I will tell you, bro, is that don't feel pressure to do that shit. And don't feel like... You have to do it in college to feel cool. You know, I'd rather you spend that time on those weekends. If you're not doing homework or something, spend that time working on a side gig or a personal brand or something for yourself, bro. And your future self is going to thank you in the future for doing that. Now, I'm going to be real. That party and stuff, bro, it's not worth it. When you really think about it, bro, it's a bunch of drunk kids who are a lot of them are in debt going to college and then they they studying all week doing homework just to party away their weekends get fucked up you know be out till 5 a.m and they repeat the process the next day just complete degeneracy now like i said i don't mean to sound like a unk i'm truly just like you know making this video out of love bro because i want to reach as many people even if just one person gets the message from this video bro and I'd be happy, but I first year when I first turned 18, bro, man, every weekend I was driving 45 minutes to ASU just to get to some parties, bro, and you know, with my friends. And I thought that shit was cool, bro. You know, I never was the type of person that liked to smoke or liked to drink. I actually never smoked, you know. I'd sip a little bit here and there, but I never smoked. But some of the shit I see at these parties, bro, you know, pure degeneracy. I see lines being done at the table, bro smoking you see you know the, the girls there don't even get me started on that a lot of dudes bro they go to these parties to try to get at girls and a mistake that i even realized bro is that these are not the girls that you want to be with bro you do not want to get with these girls you know if you gotta think about it bro if you go to this party bro and she's sleeping with you on the first night and you go to this party this weekend or think about how many dudes go to no party y'all both get drunk together you know what i'm saying y'all both get drunk and you sleep with her, bro. Think about how many dudes have done that, bro. I hear a lot of dudes catching shit from girls, bro. Because they, they want to go to parties, bro. They wanna, and then they're going to hit raw, too. You know what I'm saying? And they, they think that shit's cool. They think, like, oh, going to parties or picking up women, bro. Yeah, bro. Like, I'm that guy. Like, no. You're not that guy, bro. Almost, I, bro, any dude, bro, kid, pull up to a party drunk as shit, meet another drunk girl. You know what I'm saying? And they do the deed, bro. A one-night thing. But what are you getting from that? What value are you getting from that? you know, you know, that situation, you know, no relationship that comes from that. Now, there's anomalies, of course, but no relationship that's coming from a situation like that is going to be good, bro. You know, you don't want to meet girls like that, bro. And I thought, or I used to see videos of dudes going to parties and picking up girls. And I used to be like, damn, that nigga is, that, that man's the guy, bro. Like, I, I'm trying to be like him. But then low-key, I realized like, bro, that shit's kind of corny. I'm not going to lie. You, you literally are only going to a party and getting drunk. To talk to girls, bro. You can't talk to girls regularly, bro. Or meet them through your classes or anywhere else, bro. But you you getting drunk and going to parties just to talk to women, bro. And have a good time, bro. You literally poisoning yourself with alcohol, bro. Getting wasted, man. Like, I don't think it's a good lifestyle to live. Now, obviously, like I said, I feel like every dude should experience a few times just to see, like, what it's like. Get out their system. You know what I'm saying? I'm happy. I, I experienced it because I'd still be wondering to this day what it was like. You know, I never got wasted or anything like that. I'd sip a little bit. You know, I never threw up or nothing like that. Luckily, I knew better not to do that, you know. I've gotten a little tipsy. Damn near drunk, but I never threw up. 
But the point is, bro, I don't think it's worth it. Because I'll tell you what happened with me. After that first year, bro, that's when I really started to realize that the shit was kind of cooked, bro. Like, it was not worth it. And I kind of started to distance myself from going out. Now, the only reason why I'd even go out in the future, like, for the next year, I had friends trying to get me to go out because... I ain't gonna lie, bro. I could go out and I can make a fun time, bro. I'm not gonna lie. Like, I, I low-key, like, I don't believe in introverts, but I low-key was an introvert. But I kind of forced myself in high school to talk to people and to be funny. So whenever, that kind of translated to whenever we go out with like friends and stuff, like, I could, I could talk my mouth off. I could get, I could start dancing and shit, get some women to join us and shit like that, and it would be a good time. So a lot of my friends would want me to come out, bro. Because I, I, I could loosen them up a little bit. And I honestly just started to hate like that shit, bro. I'm like, bro, what am I doing right now, bro? I could be doing so much better things with my time. Especially as a college student, bro. You can be doing, especially in this economy where you need to have something else going for you. Especially most college kids, too, are, that are broke as fuck. You could be doing so much better things with your time, bro. On these weekends. You know, instead of just going out and partying and shit like that. And I don't want to hear, oh, it's at night. Because some of y'all be going out, partying your weekends away. And, 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 and y'all be, y'all be coming back at 5 a.m. And the whole next day you're hung over, you're cooked, bro. Even even a few days you feel the effects of that. So I don't want to hear the bullshit, oh, it's at night. Nah, listen. I just, th- I just kept thinking it was a waste of time, bro. And then it got to the point where I was just having to straight up say no. And... You know, I was getting called an unk. I was getting called, bro, you, bro, why not, bro? Come, just come out, bro. But it was hard, bro. And I'm not going to lie. A few times I had to delete social media because I, I would see, like, the stories of friends going out and their Instagram stories of them going out, having a good time. I'd be like, damn, bro. Like, I feel like I'm missing out, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, I always feel like I was missing out. But now, looking back, I don't regret that shit at all. Because I'll tell you what happened in my life after I stopped doing that shit. You know, um, I, I made a hundred grand in a year, you know what I'm saying? At 21 years old, that's what happened. You know, I started putting that time, extra time that I had, bro, I was working on myself. You know, I had a big glow up, bro. I used to be very cooked. I had a big glow up. I'm still not perfect yet, but I'm, you know, I look much better. I was very cooked. You know, uh, I started hitting the gym, bro. You know, using that time, hitting the gym, you know, working on my TikToks, bro. You know what I'm saying? Building something for myself, bro. And eventually, my TikTok started to take off, bro. I started, after all the work that I'd done, instead of me partying and stuff like that, I was putting time into that. I was putting time to other shit. You know what I'm saying? Just working on myself. And pretty much being, I want to say a owner, because I still had friends. Like, I'd hang out with you, but, like, I'm not going to no parties. That's what my friends knew. It was like, yeah, he ain't going to no parties, bro. And, you know what I'm saying? I made a hundred grand a year. I also got a girlfriend, too, after doing my self-improving and working on myself bro and i got a girlfriend honestly i'll be real bro if i was the same dude that i was when i was 18 i probably wouldn't have attracted her because you know she said some of the things she said she was attracted to me about was i'm very ambitious you know i do a lot of things like even now bro i do a lot of things cut hair you know stuff like that i back then i used to cut hair all the time and stuff like that school all types of shit you know, she liked that I hit the gym. Um, so there's a few other things, but honestly, if I hadn't gone on that journey where I was starting to self-improve and I was starting to cut out bad habits like that, then I don't think that I would have been the guy that, like, you know, she would have went for. And it's not, like, a thing where, oh, she chose me and shit like that or, like, oh, like, I don't know how to explain it. But pretty much, bro, I got blessed with an amazing girl, bro. You know, once I started putting my head down and, you know, uh, doing for myself, bro, pretty much. Instead of just going out, wasting time, bro, on my weekends at college. I'm still in college now. I'm um, doing cybersecurity. I'm trying to finish that up. I actually changed my major. It's a story for another time. I need to lock in, speaking of that. But I'm here recording YouTube videos for y'all. Instead of doing that, you know what I'm saying, and partying and wasting, going out to clubs. That's another thing. Clubs, bro, degenerate as fuck, bro. Shit that goes down to clubs, bro. Oh, my God, bro. Fucking twerk contest and shit, bro. And you mean to tell me some of you guys are trying to mess with some of these girls, bro, that willingly going going to clubs, getting up on stage, doing twerk contests, fucking ran through. Some of these girls be going to clubs with ch- kids, not like with the kids with them, but my friend, when he went to the club one time on his birthday, I went with him. When he turned 18, it was like two, three years ago. One of the girls, he was tonguing down, bro. Literally had a fucking child, bro. T- a fucking child, bro. 
Like, and these are the type of girls that you're trying to meet when you're going out, bro. Like, no, it's all bad. There's no, there's literally, the only point of you going out, I say, is to celebrate something. Me, I wanted to be like, look, if I'm a party, bro, I'm a party me celebrating something. I'm a party me opening my first business. I'm a party, you know, someone's birthday, you know, making it another year, you know what I'm saying? I'm not going to party just to party, bro, because, like, what's the fucking point? Just to get fucked up, fuck up my lungs, fuck up, you know, my immune system and my, 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 my kidneys because I want to drink away the whole weekend? Like, no, bro. No, you know? And for my college kids that feel like they're going to feel left out, you do not have to do that shit, bro. Listen, you're going to feel much better. In four years, when you're ahead of everybody who was partying, who was wasting their time doing all that bullshit, and you're going to be much ahead because you would have, you know, excelled through school. Maybe you would have already got a few internships here and there, you know what I'm saying, and stuff like that to where now you were ahead and all those dudes that are partying, you see a lot of dudes after college, bro, you know, they, they, they try to play catch up, bro. You know, because, yeah, they might have graduated, but you ain't get no internship. You ain't made no real connections. You ain't try to build nothing for yourself. You know what I'm saying? Like, shit like that. But they were partying away, and you were grinding. And like I said, I'm not saying you can't go out once in a while, but doing that shit every weekend, bro, it's not worth it. And I promise you, bro, a lot of y'all motherfuckers be going to school just to party. And, like, but the realest shit that for all my dudes that haven't even started college yet or are going to community, or are going to community college... Don't feel bad about going to community college if you aren't because you're saving a lot of money. And if you really want to, you can party for fucking free. Like, bro, people be paying all this money, getting the debt to party, bro. You don't even have to do all of that, bro. Because I promise you, bro, it gets old. I, by all the people I talk to, even girls that are, are my friends, that shit, that shit gets old after the first fucking semester of doing that shit. It gets old. It becomes the same thing. Looking forward to the weekend just to do that shit, bro. It's just like, at some point, it's honestly like growing up. Y'all want to be grown so bad and party, but it's like grow up, bro. Like you, you don't have other shit going for you, bro. Like, come on, man. But anyways, y'all, that's it for this video. I hope y'all enjoyed and y'all got something from it. And like I said, if I just help one person not feel bad about, you know, the norm, going against the norms and... You know, maybe staying home that one weekend and accomplishing something for yourself, setting it fucked up. I did my job, bro. But it's your boy Brant, and I'm out, man.